uh, going to be chopping it up with our good friend as well, who uh, joins us as he always does every Tuesday from the Michigan Sports and Spine Center. Of course, it is Dr. Jeff Pierce here in the building. And uh, Jeff, as always, appreciate your time, Doc. You Are you ready for the draft? You know, I'm excited. Am I ready? Well, I don't even know what that means anymore. Can, can anybody suffer an injury walking across the stage? Um, you know, there's a lot of you know a lot of hand holding and jumping around and excitement. <laughs> I could see an ankle going down. Okay, but just minor ankle twisting, not, yeah, nothing you know, more than that. Maybe a little shoulder, a little <laughs> head bud. I'm I'm just waiting for Goodell to like have a back injury from a big hug from one of these big yeah, like, I mean, linemen or whatever. Where he's like, ah, oh, doc adjustment right now. Stuff yeah, like I mean, it, it, he he does get pounded a little bit, no doubt. But I, I like his M and M commercials. Have you seen those? Yeah, I did. Those were pretty good. That's, you know, I like that Marshall's starting to identify a little bit more with Detroit and doing the thing and did the whole Lions thing. I, I do like the way Goodell leans into it now, too. Like, he he assumes the role, he embraces it, and he, he profits from it. He plays off it. Takes now. the fun. Oh, yeah. He, he's a good personality. I've, I've met him once. 50 million a year, Neil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I'd be in a yeah. good mood, too. He, he's confident in his position. But uh, yeah, he's he plays well. He, he's he's a good personality. I mean, you don't hold that position and not have, you know, the whole package where you can be tough with billionaires and deal with the players and be confident in what you're doing. So no, that's a whole another mental strength thing we can get into. <laughs> the whole, the hey, whole Doc, mental strength. Doc, thing. real quick for you, about injuries, right? Going into the draft be, because the way that. Um, recovery and the way that surgeries and stuff have evolved over the year. Is there a death sentence injury out there to um, a player in college or somebody that you're going to draft? Like, because now we see all the, and I bring that up because Brad Holmes is notoriously known for drafting guys that have had injuries or, or signing guys who have had injuries. But, but as we've talked about, no, these guys are coming back in the way medicine has. So is is it fair to say that there's probably not unless it's a unless it's a, you know, a spine injury, something a paralyzation or something like this that's legitimate, is there an injury out there that you would shy away from a player for in football nowadays? Honestly, probably not. I mean, I'm trying to think of everything as you were saying that you know, spine injuries, yeah, throw them over there. That's that's not real. Um, but as far as, like, we looked at the ACLs, the elbow injuries, the shoulder, the rotator cuffs. I well, mean, Achilles these, is a huge one now. That, Achilles is the new ACL, right? Yeah. I mean, or no? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, I guess, I guess yeah, so. Got him. But even, no, no. I mean, you're, you're rehabbing it. Like I said, I like a guy with an, an early injury because... He doesn't take it for granted. He's working harder. You know, the guys that will get to that level, right? They prove that I got an injury, I got through it, and I've learned from it. Uh, you know, those sometimes are the better athletes, the more sincere, less naive players, and they work harder to stay there. Um, so there's, you know, there's a way to look at it. But then you have to break that guy down. What I was going to say is personality and emotional. That may be your death sentence right now. You know, with all the social media and everything else going is, on, you have some point. social issues. That doesn't leave you like, you know, a doc can go rehab your shoulder. You know, there's more psychological players like golf you can pick on that, you know, they, you know, you have a, a personality, a psychologist helping you and all that. But some of these guys have deep rooted stuff that needs to be addressed. I think. We can do a way better job of identify it, talk about it, and deal with that individual as if they are a red flag that we need to watch. Like, like call a rotator cuff. Yeah, the trainer, I got a rotator cuff, I'm coming in, right? So he's going to make sure that that extremity is 120%. If you come in and say, yeah, this guy had some domestic violence, he, you know, maybe in college he, he got angry at his girlfriend, he got provoked, blah, blah, blah. You know, does that trainer get that same message? Like, hey, we got to watch. He's got he's got a hot you know hot head, and we got to be careful on how we walk around him. I mean, you know, some of it's part of the game. We want him at that edge, and some of it is what's too too far. And right now, it's it's a hard 
it's a hard thing to address. I think we're working it from a medical standpoint. How do we address this politically correct? But how do we also protect our team, our investment, and this player from himself? Right. That, and that is interesting. And that is where I think because we've saw we and this wasn't this is kind of all off script right now, but like we've seen where the interview and the interview process has become, in my mind, just the way the media talks about it, it has become a staple of the NFL draft more than the 40 time, more than the bench press, all that stuff, where teams really value this interview process. It's interesting you brought that up because I never really thought about that before. Well, look, I, you know, on ESPN today, J.J. McCart, you know, he he was such – either he was well-prepped or he's really – I've met him. I've got to spend some time with him. He's a great kid. He's a great kid. I think everything he said on that ESPN interview was real. You know, he's real. I, I'm humble. I know people don't see me as the value that I see myself or or Coach Hardball sees me. But I think there was a lot of sincerity there. It wasn't a lot of BS. You know, you, you can kind of weed through that. That interview process and who they are and who they're going to work as a team, you know, that, that locker room can be hot or cold depending on who that leader personality is. You know, so it is playing a big role. This is multifactorial. It's almost there's so much talent out there, and you've seen this. There's so much talent in hockey, there's, especially basketball. I've seen so much talent that couldn't go anywhere because of personality. I think it's most evident in basketball. Football, like I said, you want that little bit of an edge. You want that guy to go. Well, you uh, have to play that game with an edge. It's something I always talk about where – those dudes have to go to a place mentally when they walk between those four lines they have to go to a place mentally that we can't imagine or we don't want to imagine one or the two both. no both. no both. or both <laughs> yeah or both. i mean they're they're a, it's a different breed you know i love how people say you know they put their pants on the same way no these guys are excelling at a different level they're working at a different level split seconds make a difference you know this you ultimate know, stakes process. yeah you, you just you know, a death sentence, getting back to your initial question, no, Achilles isn't a death sentence. It's just, it, it's being perfected. I mean, look, we had two high-profile players with Aaron Rodgers and, and Cousins. They're both returning to play. You know, one a little bit different. It's a nice little study in between for the medical, uh, medical staff to see which one works better. There's a lot of other secret sauces that are being designed. There's a lot of things behind the scenes we can't talk about because they're not necessarily approved, but... A lot of the regenerative medicine is going to change the landscape of professional players for sure over the next five years. I mean, you 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 hear about LeBron. I mean, what LeBron did last night, oh, my God, 39 years old, Yeah. you know, covering it in the fourth quarter. Okay, he's in the fourth quarter acting like that. You know, he's he's done something which we don't we don't know. I mean, granted, he's superhuman. But, you know, what's his secret sauce and what's his formula? I, I just think he's so committed, but he's also got some – He's he respects his body to it. No a, doubt. A, a nine, you know, nth degree. Like, you know, it's just like Mac or Chelly, like even our guys. Nobody saw what they were doing off, off camera. They were working to – you know, there's a reason why they had a long career. Like all the Red Wings, you know, even the players, LeBron – these guys are working, or Kobe, or who? Well, who? every meal is work too. Like every every single thing that LeBron puts in his body, I said this about Tom Brady too, is geared towards that moment last night. Right. Everything in his life is geared towards that moment. Right. And the and these young kids and young listeners and parents of young kids, it's not like I want to be there. Oh, I can. I know I can be there. What's the work you're putting in to get there? You know, and I have no idea what we're talking about anymore. No, no, no. I, I, the, I, I the like mental you. the mental toughness. Yeah is is surfacing uh and i is that if you want me to pick a death sentence unfortunately i think i'm picking that from a physical standpoint from a you know if you're committed you should be able to come back if everything goes well from your repair you should be able to come back again a split second slower maybe but also i've seen guys come back even stronger like i've told you like in my office when i get young injuries this is where i take the opportunity to educate that person 
on what you can do to become a better athlete for your sport. Well, that, the cross training and all that. That kind of leads into a question that we have for you from the chat. We're talking to Dr. Jeff Pierce as we do every Tuesday from the Michigan Sport and Spine Center. Visit their website, michigansportandspine.com. If you got some of those nagging weekend warrior injuries, uh, as we talked about, he can get you squared away. But LFG in the uh, Woodward Sports chat, and, and this is off board, and again, when I ask these, you're not his doctor, so we don't know. I'll do I'll do all the disclaimers for all you. Right, okay, thank you. You're, you're not involved with them. You're just kind of offering a, an educated opinion. Uh, he said, uh, Neil, can you ask Doc about uh, UCLA prospect? He's an edge. Mm -hmm. uh, latu 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 latu. Um, they want they want to know because he had neck fusion surgery, which is very scary yeah. sounding. Very scary sounding. Uh, missed some time at UCLA, has played the last two years, been very, very productive. Uh, people have talked about him as a, as a possible first-round pick. But when you hear neck fusion surgery, obviously that is frightening. And he's one of those guys, you have no clue where he's going to go. He could go in the teens, he could go in the second round. Right. But I guess the question is, and it backs up to what you just talked about, when you're young and you're in your prime years, we're not talking about a 33-year-old that had neck fusion surgery here. I guess that would be along the lines of your answer. Like he's he's younger. It's better it happened to him at this age than that age. You you're at risk. You know we talked about the spines that we put it over here, and this is a great question to explain what I meant. Is that when you have a spine injury, depending on what's going on, if he had a fusion, if he had a simple discectomy, which is just taking a piece of the disc, pulling it out. And then you should be okay because that's minimal. Simple, yeah, Just, simple. Yeah, yeah, that's simple. But when you're talking <laughs> fusion, you're talking that you're locking out those segments that you're changing. Um, you know, it's it's a little bit more cautious. I would probably put, put him through a little bit tougher workout to make sure. You know, he's probably symptom free. He's been productive in his this senior year, uh, which you know, college is still a hell of a speed, especially playing for UCLA. He's kind of passed his initial test. Will he have longevity in the football uh, NFL? That I couldn't answer. That right. I would put a question mark on. Is this guy strong? Sometimes they're stronger. They've make they've compensated, but you you can examine them. You know when you do the physical, what's going on and where you're going to see it. If it's a simple fusion, a two level fusion, it just means you're locking out two segments, right? So everything else is going to move a little bit more. You get hype, uh, increased mobility above and below that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. So basically, the real answer is I, I think he's going to be fine. I think he will go a little bit lower, and someone might be able to find him as a, as a gem. Um, I wouldn't cross him off because of it. I think because like if he came and he was off-season and he had the fusion, that's a different story. But he went back, played, proved he can be at an elite level, and that he should be okay to play and probably more conscious of his body and mechanics. All right. Well, there, there's the answer. And that was involved. So I think that's what LFG was looking for. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this kind of devolved. And, and you – originally I wanted to ask you about some of the youth sports thing. Can we do that next week then? Because that, that season's always going to be around. I, I, yeah, we'll, just, we'll just highlight it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because I do. I'm coaching my daughter's soccer team right now, so it's relevant. It's relevant, and I wanna I wanna discuss it. So we we'll push that to next week if that's cool with you. All right. Yeah. I mean, I just just to highlight what we wanted to say. Yeah. The question is, and maybe the viewers can throw in. Yeah. Do bad refs lead to bad injuries in youth, in sports. youth sports? And I think that's a hot topic. And and the other thing is that there's a there's less refs. Some of the teams can't play because they can't find True. refs. Right. I don't know if you're having that in soccer, but they're having it in lacrosse. And yeah. I don't know about hockey, so but my, my daughter's team are, are young enough to where if they you know if we don't have refs, it's cool. Um, they they usually do. But hey, I wouldn't be a ref in youth sports. You want me? You want me to take that from from parents for twenty five dollars to 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 ref a U eleven game that you guys think is the World Cup in Brazil? <laughs> like, yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah. No, no it's 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 good. But yeah, what? So what? For the NFL draft, what are you, uh, are you loving it? Oh, I just I just snapped into it today. But Doxy, here's the problem, and DMac and I were talking about this. I just I'm calm about it. Like there's no every option is open for them, and I've never felt this way before as a Lions fan. It's weird. Yeah, I mean it, they should only improve. So. 
Just tune oh, in good. between picks 11 and 20 when Big D and <laughs> is making the call because they're going to trade up. I'm telling you right now. They're trading up? Yeah, I heard that do, theory, I'm too. I'm just going to go. We'll I told see. you so. We'll no, but Doc, we appreciate the time, my friend, as always. We'll we'll dive into that next week. So and feel free to jump in the discussion, guys. You guys have questions about it. And uh sorry we kind of changed paths on you there, but it's relevant, <laughs> you know. It's relevant. It's all good. I think we got some good information out. Absolutely. But. Dr. Jeff Pierce, everybody, of the Michigan Sport and Spine Thanks, Center. Doc. Visit the website, Michigan Sports and Spine.com. He'll get you fixed up. He got DMAC fixed up. So he can do that. He can do it for you That's right. as well.